65 degrees out on December 24th. You can't beat that. And we have gears. I was able to take drive off the, the 19 here. And the only issue we have now is this the gears are in there. This is our what we call affectionately our Frankenstein drive. Last summer we uh, learned the hard way that when a top goes bad, which happened to us, shortly after the bottom will go bad. We replaced the top, then the bottom went bad. So we took our giant box over there of Volvo parts and just decided to uh, put together a drive. And uh, in the bottom we have a, a bearing case from one, gears from another drive, case from a third drive, vertical shaft from a fourth drive. The center is uh, my original drive which was on my boat when I bought it. Oh jeez, 16, 15 years ago. Uh, and then the top I bought off of a friend on Donzi Marine Restoration Society. And of course then there's some numerous parts that were just replaced out of a catalog. So was kind of surprised I got it off in uh, 13 minutes, I think it was, total. Took longer to actually unwrap the boat and, or uncover the boat because everything's wet. And uh, I'm going to cover it back up. Of course, it'll take a little longer to put it back on, but look out, people. If I need a drive, y'all in trouble. But, all right. Why don't we go to this one? We're doing what we can with it. She, uh, she definitely took a beating and we're gonna try to JB weld up the corners a little bit we found that most of these even though they're interchangeable which they are I mean you can put a 280, 275, 270, 250 uh, they all fit right on top of one another the problem is the pieces inside different ones have different gears different yokes over there different uh, th they're all different I mean different bearing cases it, it's everything we have found that uh, you know some of them have this on their on their drive shafts other ones are flat we found that uh, this whole bearing case totally different design from drive to drive the only thing I think is interchangeable I haven't really kind of gotten into detail is the top so we are really kind of concentrating on getting this one fixed. If we can't get that one fixed, we're going to have to replace it completely because even though we do have other parts for tops, I wouldn't even feel comfortable putting them together. I and mean, we have we have one that actually the gear won't even fit inside the hole. I mean, that's that's how different they are. I mean, that's that's amazing. I mean, uh and the uh, strangest thing about it is that it has the same cap and it's got a stamp on it that's only one year difference. So, and it, it just baffles us. So after looking in the manual and such, we, uh, we came to the conclusion that we can re-shim if we needed to, but it's just not, you know, without having all the original pieces of one set, it's just not even worth fooling with. So we're going to do a little sanding we're going to do a little of this little of that and see where we go and if it uh and it doesn't work out we'll just uh ditch it and move on to the next one When you take apart a top end with a maul hammer and a 5 inch cutoff disc, 
takes twice as many part and tools to put it back together. Or at least try to attempt to put it back together. We used our belt sander, our disc grinder, our drill, Dremel, assortment of bits, assortment of drill bits, assortment of, of Dremel bits, assortment of discs, assortment of sandpapers, all to do this. We're pretty happy with the results, to be honest. Uh, it could have been much worse. We uh, stayed away from all our edges here until the very, very last. And as you can see, it's still got the imprint in it. Didn't even really, it, it's, that's mainly uh, wire brush scratches, to be honest. So we didn't take any aluminum off of there. We just gently ran our belt sander across it just to make sure everything was hitting where it should. We still have a little low spots here and there, but you know, honestly, it's really this is not the main connection we're worried about. Along with the side over here, also, we ran it across our belt sander, cleaned up our insides real well. We had to do a lot of fixing to this. Like we said, we pounded on this dog with a mall hammer. We pound on something with a mall hammer. <laughs> it's usually junk, but we're trying something here. And we also cleaned up our, our top case and a whole crap load of bolts and then our bearing case over there and now they all have to be washed and cleaned and we'll see how it works out still we still got a little bit of salt right underneath these knit, these bolts here to get it through ah uh, jeez we're not promising anything but I guess if we were on a scale of uh, 5 being the medium we're at a 5.1 so We'll see how it goes.